Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and we are up again today with more from KS Craft and it is of course Easter from the design team haul that we did on Monday. Right so today we are doing the lovely Easter basket that comes with an egg, a bow and grass. So this is the Easter jelly tote basket I've also uh, made these, I've made these prior because there's a lot of uh, little bits of layering. So we're going to build the basket and we're going to use all of the bits that we've got. And I was fortunate, I found another sheet of that chocolate coloured paper. Yes, I did. Oh, and before I forget, from the uh, bunny set that comes with stamps, I've used the sentiment, you are, oh, Let's get in there. You're excellent. And I had a little spare egg left from my banner. So I'm going to just put it on there, my little spare egg. And that'll be a little embellishment on the bag. Right, all cardstock that I'm using today is basil cardstock from Joanne. So first up, the bow. And I've done quite a few shades here. So this is like a different shade of pink to the basket. And you get a little centre with it. So that is your little bow. And then let's get to those little swaggy Easter banners that I made. This one is the carrot. Really cute. Cut in white. Then I cut in orange and then I cut in green and all I did was cut, let's see if we can get close enough so you can see it. All I did was cut the tops off the green and glued those onto there. Ooh, I don't like it when we can't get close. Let's go in and out. Oh, that might be the best I'm going to be able to do for the moment. So that is the carrot one. And then you get in that set a little egg one. So those are my eggs and my little chocolate eggs. These are so sweet. And then you get the little peeps. So I've got my little peeps. So you can kind of see the colour theme that I've got going on here. So I'm just going to move those out of the way because we're going to use those for decorating. So this is a separate set on its own, those little banners. So with the Easter basket, I'm just picking my bits up. You get um, an egg. And so I've cut three and I've done a yellow and I've done a chocolate and I've done a pink. So I've got a yellow a chocolate and a pink egg. And I'm just going to put those there. And you also get grass. And I've cut three pieces of grass reason for that is I want one piece for the back of my basket and I want two pieces for the front of my basket so that I can uh, you know like bury my eggs you know between the layers kind of thing just to make it look a little bit more full so I'm going to have two at the front so that's three in total but first of all of course I've got to show you the basket right you're going to need to cut two pieces for the front and for the back so they will quite literally go like this so that's the front and the back of your basket and then to make it a basket you're going to need sides so you're going to need two sides which will go either side here and then you're going to need a base, which is this one. And then you get a reinforcing piece, which um, you can cut in pattern paper if you want to. I've just gone ahead and cut it in pink. So that's what you've got there. And it goes that way around, which is why you get a nice piece to kind of hide the roughage of your cutting plates. <laughs> so on these, all you have to do as you can see you've got a score line and you just go along and you bend them gently just take them down you can use your score tool if you want to but I kind of find for things like this it's not really that necessary but just go along and your score line is exactly where your cut point is 
so if you find yourself going a little bit skew if like I sometimes do just get yourself lined back up with the cut point and you'll find yourself being square I'm going to do exactly the same to this one and to my base piece and I'll be back right so I've done all that and also what I did while I was away the bunny memdex that we did the other day if that's something that you wanted to make in gift look it will fit in to that basket and its little paws will hang over the edges so it will hang on there for you so if that was something that you know you wanted to make and do it will totally fit inside of that basket so I just wanted to share that right let me move that bit out of the way right so we folded these up and before I go any further I'm going to glue my base down into there so I'll just move that up where you can see it and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the outside in the middle and I've already lost the cap on it can you believe that I just lifted it off I've got to make myself something because I keep getting into a right mess with them right let's try and get that in central which that is not I want to be central and straight. Let me move that along. There. Right, so that is the base of our basket, and that extra piece just reinforces it nicely. Right, so when you look at the side, <clears throat> excuse my throat, it should look like that like a little tray pointing up at you right and now we can pop this down flat because we're going to glue the sides on and you want to do your flat to your flat and you want to glue it on the outside like that so we are going to flip that over and you want to do it just before your fold edge so that you can still fold it so that's what we're going to do now and I'm just running a little bit of glue along there and grab this make sure it's lined up just before you fold line And give it a press just pick it up and look at it and make sure you've got it on straight now we're going to do exactly the same on this side just a little bit of glue line it up just before your crease line Make sure you're on square. I used to be quite scared of this glue, but it's quite forgiving. Um, whether it's my humidity, I don't know, but I get quite a little bit of playtime with it, to be honest. So now we've got our glue all over our base. <laughs> But we've got this. This is what we've got now. So because of my humidity, I'm just going to leave that to dry just for a few seconds. And I will be right back. Right, so the base is dry. And the next step is decorating your basket. I prefer to do mine now rather than do it and um, fiddle about. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. That's better. <laughs> if I'd have done that on mic, it would have deafened you all. Right, and I don't know yet whether I want my grass on the inside or the outside. And I think it's probably going to be on the inside. So I do want two layers. So I am popping my bit of glue on this edge here. Now 
and then I am going down with my grass. I'm going to go slightly lower with this one. And then I'll go slightly higher with the next one so that it kind of um, protects and frames those little eggs that we're going to pop into there. Right, so that's our first layer of grass. And I need to get my eggs. Decide which colour configuration you enjoy. And I think I'm going to go pink, yellow, chocolate. And I don't want them to be totally hidden, if you know what I mean. So I kind of like to arrange stuff and, and then go back. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back there for my eggs. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to leave those exactly where they are for now. And I'm just going to pick up my basket. And I'm going to put some glue down on that bit of grass and it, whatever it picks up it picks up and what it doesn't I'll catch in the next one but it's just a useful way of uh, being able to grab hold of the stuff that you want to glue down so I'm going to need just a little squeeze along there and then I'm going to push that down and I will, of course, wipe that glue away. Any excess that squeezes out, you can just tidy it up as you go. So now we've got those there. And I'm still looking around on my table for the lid for my glue, because you know what it's like. If you keep the lid off it for too long, it will just go totally weird on you. But never mind right next up is my second layer of grass which i want to go behind and i want it to be just slightly higher but obviously you've still got to be able to hide your um your bottom seam so i'm looking at it here And I'm thinking that that's where it can go. So I'm just going to go all the way along the bottom edge here. And then line that up so that I've got none of those cut gaps. I think that's it. And of course that will also hold your eggs from behind. So there we are. And we're just slightly higher up, if you know what I mean. Now you can, if you want to, take this grass and curl it, which might be something I'll do in a second. While I've still got a flat piece to work with. And I'm just going to... Um, where's my tool? There it is. I'm just going to bend it towards me, some of them. Just give it a, a little curl and a twist. Now, there's quite a large collection of them here, so. I'm just going to pull some of them. Just pick that one. I'll do that one. And then I'm leaving some straight pieces behind. Curl that one. push that one back so that you've got a little bit of fluffiness now I don't know actually if those would um, tuck inside the handle let's have a look yeah that's better so you can actually flap those bits forward around your handle and I will pull the first one forward there I like that Right, so that's the decoration that I wanted to get out of the way there. I can hang the banners and stuff on after. Now this piece is going on after. 
and I do want that somewhere like that and then I'm going to use my little egg just to hide the hole and uh, I'm going to glue that on in fact I think I'll glue it on now and I'll have it at the bottom yeah so first of all I'm going to stick glue down here and just have that a little bit skew if like that and then I'm going to ooh, where am I going to have my glue I'm looking at where it is so I'm going to go here for my glue and then hopefully that is in the center And if not, I can just slide it across a bit before it dries. And get it down like that. That's it. I am committed. So I've got that element now on the front of my basket. And I've also got my eggs in there. So that looks a lot tidier than having a load of, you know, sort of glue all over the place right so I'm just going to glue the grass into this one which is going to be the back of the basket and I'll be right back right so I did the back of my basket so that you know when you're looking at them three dimensionally you kind of got that effect of your grass obviously it's a basket and there's a space behind so the next thing we need to do now is to glue those two basket sections to the base and this is the way that I prefer to do it now you know we can go through all kinds of things in our crafting experiences until we discover a formulation that suits us and this is what suits me so I'm just flattening that out and I'm going to run some glue along the base of the basket and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to line it up on here just before the crease line now don't worry about pressing anything on those other bits it will all be all right right I'm committing to that for that section and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side just moving my stuff out of the way wiping up my gluey mess and then when I've got like both bits attached I can just wrap the sides up and it just makes it a lot easier for me now I know people have got all sorts of ways of doing it you know holding it up in the air and uh, all kinds of stuff like that we get up to all sorts of acrobatics to uh, to try and get it right but this one I like this works for me might get that on there and I'm going to commit to that and I'm just going to let that dry for a second right that's been drying for a little while and um, you can kind of see now you can bring up your outer edges of your basket and it just makes it easier then when you turn it around you can just do one piece at a time and hold it as you glue it do you know what I mean so I'm going to do one piece and then I'm going to vanish and do the others so make sure all your bits are tucked down and I hope you can see this clearly I'm just quite literally putting a blob of glue onto each of those tiny little tabs and then I maneuver it under and follow the shape of the basket just like that now I have to hold it and I'll be right back 
Right, so I've glued the basket and that's what it should look like inside when you're finished. There's plenty of space in there to get all kinds of stuff into it. And I've decided, looking at it, that I'm only going to use one of my um, swags. I'm going to save the other two, I think, for tomorrow and that little gift bag. So I'm going to put my peeps and my eggs off to one side. And I'm going to go with my carrots on there because I just think that's going to look pretty. So I'm just going carrots and then I'm going to put my bow onto my handle. So a little bit of glue on there. You can just dot it onto your carrots. And I'm going to line that up with the curve of my basket and uh, try and be central. Let's have a look at that. That's about right, I think. And then just squeeze your carrots on to make sure they're going to stick. Ooh, I like that. And then on the handle, as I move it down, I'm just going to pop my bow straight into the middle. So I've got a nice blob of glue and I'm going to have that on there. I think I'm in the centre. I'm going to lift it up. So we've got all of that lovely yumminess going on all over the place. I just love that. Imagine all the goodies you can fit in there. I'm going to do um, a rough measure because it is a curve. So I'm going to say that the widest points on this are going to give you a five and three quarter inch basket. And then the width on that is going to give you a two and a half inch um, across from there to there. And then the height of the sides of your basket are two and a half inches. And of course, that doesn't really matter because you can, um, you know, because you've got the sides to hold stuff in. You can go as high as you want, you know, with tissue paper and all sorts of stuff. But now that it's fully decorated, I don't know if my Memdex would still hang on or if you would even see it. But you would probably have to do without your bow, but you could just imagine that. So I just said bow and Bo thinks I've said bow. But it is a really lovely little thing it really is and of course you don't have to have it hollow if you use your die you can draw around your paper and you can have patterns paper going on behind there and make it look like an Easter plaid oh that's better now we've got some uh, some close-up right that is what I have for you today I'm going to use these tomorrow and I hope you have an absolutely awesome day. As usual, all links below. Bye.